Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we are doing the sewing part. So this is what we cut. I just cut it on my fabric. I'm using a Kara fabric for this. So the first thing now is how to put our dart. I'm going to be folding this into two like this. Now I'll be separating this middle. is giving me two parts but before then i'm also going to fold it again into two please make sure that it meets at this circle point you might have a slant here but it's okay so i'm going to be sharing this also into two so this is it so i'll be picking one part and I will sew it back. I will do the same thing to the other side. So I will also do the same thing to the other side. Alright, so I've joined both sides at the middle part. You can see my joint line. So I'm also going to join these two parts back together. I'm showing about a quarter inch away from it. Please, this one and a half inches is a core stance or a standard measurement which work for most people. So I will just sew it straight down. All right, so you can see now I have about three joint lines. Now the next thing I'm just going to cover it up with my bias. I'll be using a white bias because I have a touch of white on it. And though I couldn't really get some things easy due to this lockdown. So I'm going to be sewing this close on it. So I will sew here now, close with the white. This other part with the white and also here with the white. Now the bias depends on whichever color or how you want to style it. You can make so different colors. So let's go over and mash it down and come back to do the rest. So you can see me now. I already taped my bias on it and I'm also doing some other thing with the bias. So you can make as different design as you want. So I just want to tape this one down. Different design as you want, as you please, to make your cloth look beautiful. So now depends on how you want, but please, the thing should not be too much, so it doesn't look somehow. So I just use my machine to just mask it out. There's no really special day about it so i'm done with that side i'm trying to put it on the other side also so now we'll come back we'll see how we can piece our cup to this all right so we're done with this please whatever i did here apart from this bias i did to my lining and I'll be using my main fabric to also turn it. So I'll be placing this now on top. So I'll be sewing the upper part, leaving this cup circle out of it. So this is it. Let's start from one edge. Please, I'm not sewing the circle part. I'm leaving it so I'm just going to sew here and sew the side close all right so I sew the upper part I sew this top part and my side seam 
now this middle here i'm going to sew it just closed this is what i'm sewing is just little let's just say like a quarter almost quarter inch i'm not really sewing this seam allowance half a bit okay that is it and this whole circle part is left on tossed so the next thing i'm just going to turn it and go and press very well with my iron before we fix our cup bra to it so i'll go over now and press this with iron so i'll come over we'll come and fix our cup bra but you can see the edges now it's neatly covered right so after we're done with the ironing is how to cover this cup bra remember we cut a pattern for it so i'm going to be sewing this together all i will just do is sew according to the shape like this and then i'll show you what to do next all right so we've sewed it together this was just what I did. So by the time we are done, when you turn it, it's going to look like this. So this is our cup bra we'll be using. I'll be placing it on top. Now we'll make sure that this seam is at the middle of my cup. Now how can you know the middle of your cup? This is it. It's just it inside. So you have to make sure it covers everywhere all right so the next thing i'm going to do i will secure this first with a pin because i have to trim out the excess from it so this is how it is now So I'm going to be securing this with a pin so that I can trim out the excess from it. So I'll be doing this all round. Alright, so I've secured each part with pin, so I will just trim out the excess away from it. This is only the fabric I'm cutting, I'm not cutting out my cup brow. So this is it so i'm just going to use my sewing machine to secure it down first so that it doesn't shift when i'm attaching it to my clothes so i'll be doing this little by little I'm going to sew this all around. So that it does not shift when I'm attaching it to my main fabric. Alright, so you can see I trim out the edges and I just secure it with my sewing machine. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cover up this part this top part so i'll be using my bias to do that i'm placing it in between like this so 
it's going to be like this and like this inside so i'll be sewing it together so i'll be doing this very carefully so that it can pick both parts both the front and that of the back so i'll be sewing it all round <laughs> 